the Earth is rotating on its axis faster than it has in the last 50 years. The rotation of the Earth enables us to witness sunrise and sunset and to enjoy different seasons on Earth. The existence of life on Earth and the life patterns of organisms are greatly dependent on the rotation of the Earth. The length of a complete day also depends upon the rotational speed. On average, the Earth completes one rotation on its axis in 24 hours, or 86,400 seconds, this is known as mean solar day. But, as the rotational speed of the Earth varies constantly, so the length of a full day on Earth, its duration is not exactly of 24 hours time period. Motion of the Earth's core, its atmosphere and effects, produced by the celestial bodies on Earth causes the rotational speed of the Earth to vary. Melting of heavy glaciers, due to global warming is causing mass redistribution on Earth, it may also be the cause of Earth's faster rotation. Experts say that the rotational speed of the Earth has increased in the past five decades. It means that a day on the blue planet is now shorter than 24 hours. According to news reports, the day of July 19, 2020, was the shortest one since the record began. It was 1.4602 milliseconds shorter than 24 hours time period. The year 2020 included 28 shorter days since 1960, and the year 2021 is predicted to be even shorter. Owing to the increase in speed of the Earth's rotation, an average day in the year 2021 would be 0.05 milliseconds shorter than 86,400 seconds. Over the entire year of 2021, atomic clocks will have accumulated a lag of about 19 milliseconds. Atomic clock is a type of clock, which utilizes specific frequencies of resonance of atoms. Mostly cesium or rubidium, to keep time with extreme accuracy. They are actually a primary reference medium, for international time distribution services. The wave frequency, at which the television global broadcasting systems function. And the global satellite systems, and global navigational services work, are greatly dependent upon them. However, the satellites and global navigation systems are kept accurately in sync with the solar time, which varies with the rotation speed of the Earth. A small difference between the atomic time and the solar time can produce significant impact on the functioning of satellites, global television broadcasting services, and the global navigation system. Therefore, leap seconds are required to adjust time. Leap seconds are added to ensure that our clocks may reflect the spin speed of the Earth on its axis as precisely as possible. A leap second is added when the Earth rotates slower on its axis, while a leap second is subtracted when the Earth rotates faster on its axis. International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service is responsible for the monitoring of Earth's rotation. They also decide when to add or subtract a leap second. So far leap seconds have been only added, as the Earth was rotating slower on its axis. Last time a leap second was added in July, 2012, many popular websites crashed. However, as the Earth is rotating faster, so probably a leap second will be subtracted but experts say it is too early to decide. For more such content, please follow and subscribe to our page and channel.